can get it. That's why I'm still normal. Overly inject. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Some nigga. Oh. Hey, I know some of you niggas got the vaccine, and ever since then, y'all ain't been right in the head. Yeah. That weak ass shit out of here. But, uh. Oh, man, Zach Eady. I hate this nigga, bro. We ain't really got to go into Bryce Teller for real. Oh, yeah, I mean, head ass nigga. But, uh, we can, we can get to the real meat and potatoes of uh, oh. today's episode. Yeah, I, I, no, no, no. I, I, I do. I do. No, so hold on. I do owe, I, I owe Bryson at least 10 minutes, five, 10 minutes, because I, I did talk about, bro. <laughs> I right, so I right. clear up, clear up, ball. What, 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 you, you said a video with KG when he was talking about Scottie Pippen. They was playing, and uh, Scottie Pippen hit the three, and the KG whistle for the ball, ball. Yeah, same shit. Uh, <laughs> no, man, the, the album I think it's it's, t- it's titled Tiller, self titled, I guess. Um, album's good, bro. Album's good, bro. Like I told you, I was real disappointed in his second and third. Um, I felt like Trap Soul is a classic. I felt like the second and third album do him an a, a injustice. This is a little foreshadowing. Um, what? With the first album was a classic. Oh, second oh, album, second album was <laughs> trashed it, nigga. <laughs> but it was okay, but they gassed it. But they gassed it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Stop, bro. Let me get there. Because when I get there, I'm I'm, 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 I'm going kick, to kick this nigga's back in. Drop kick. I might sweet chin music it like Shawn Michaels, but Tiller, bro, he dropped a very good album. The bar was low, of course. So you better my neighbor just now. <laughs> the bar, the bar was low, but he did drop a very good album. Um, is it trap soul? No. Does it have the vibes? Yes. Okay. There is a song or two where I'm like, these could be Chris Brown records. Um, this track he got with Janae, uh, not Janae Monet, uh, Victoria Monet. Uh, and it's another track. I can't think of the name of it. But it's, it kind of felt like a couple breezy tracks. Um, he only had two songs on there I skipped, and that's excluding the bonus track, which was the uh, Whatever She Wants, the TikTok joint. I hate that song. But overall, bro, he, he didn't miss. Um I think the only thing that kind of separates this project from being on par with Trap Soul mm-hmm. is it doesn't have the essence Trap Soul had. Like Trap Soul had the vibes. Trap Soul, Trap Soul had the tracks that was like, damn, this motherfucker is amazing. But it also had like the energy. It just felt different when you was listening to Trap Soul in that moment. Like this, I didn't really get that, 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 that oomph energy from it you feel me but the vibes was there I had this motherfucker on the shower yesterday i was like it was my third fourth list and i was like y'all yeah, were listening to it, it's mood music Taylor. it's mood music it. it's mood music come on don't do that don't do that bro it's mood music. i'm supposed to listen you said it. i'm supposed to turn on ice wear viso or something i'm in the shower or something bro you said it bro not me like no but i'm just so what you listen to when you in the shower nothing nothing you listen to water make me sweat nothing but but no but no I had on I had on the Tiller album man it's it's definitely a vibe. Um, I do want to say one thing though, bro. Mm-hmm. This nigga's a liar. Okay. Till? Yes, he's a liar, bro. Okay. I'm gonna do the science real quick for niggas. And I'm gonna leave it alone. So he announced he's going on his tour a couple weeks ago when he announced about the albums coming out. He said he's going on tour. He's not doing a show in, let alone Louisville, but he's not doing a show in Kentucky at all. Mm-hmm. He's not. People asked him, why? Why are you not doing bringing your tour to Louisville? That's strange. Yeah. That's odd. That's confusing behavior. Who does that? It's because it's Jack City now. New Jack City. And you say that, but yes, it is Jack City now. But let's get to it. He says he's not doing the tour here because uh, a bunch of shit. And then he gets to the point where he was like, I'm not doing it because uh, I'm not doing a tour in Louisville. I'm, I'm not I'm not bringing I'm, I'm not performing in Louisville until they put up a static majors banner. Mm-hmm. And it's like, OK, that's confusing because the city literally said back in like December, or January, or they might have said in February that they were going to put up a banner of Static Major and a Ray John Rondo banner in the city. So if they're already in the process of doing this, 
they're just probably they're probably gonna do it in the summer. I mean, it makes sense to do it in the summer. What? Why would you make that your angle for not performing in the city? All right. Yeah. Now it sounds like you just start throwing some bullshit out there. Now it sounds like you're throwing out some emotional string pulling bullshit to where people who can't see past five feet hear the word static major art and honestly think, yeah, that nigga right. Yeah. I feel them. But it's like, no, they are, the city's already planning to do that. So why would you not bring your tour here, bro? It seems like it's deeper than something else. You know who does have a, a banner in the city? Who? Talk to me. Take a guess. Take a guess. New Jack City. Mm-hmm. You can say you can say it a little bit louder. So they New can. Jack City. Yeah. Jack. I'll say it louder for the people in the back with no headphones on. Jack Harlow has a banner in the city. So now you look around, you're like, damn, Jack got a banner. Static is Jack getting, got the key to the city, didn't he? Static is getting his banner. But Bryson Tiller does not have a banner. If I'm Bryson Tiller, if I'm being realistic, you know, you missed the 502 come up. You missed the Louis, Louisville to Lexington mileage. You feel me? In his mind, I'm nigga. I'm, I'm the nigga. I'm the nigga that brought the extra attention and eyes to Kentucky, to the city of Louisville, to help people find somebody like a Jack Harlow. I'm the one that brought a basketball court to my old neighborhood. You feel me? With Nike. That's huge. That's major. Right? Yeah. I'm the one nigga. I'm, I sold out the Yum Center. I did that. I don't have a banner, but I I, I'm, I come back home. I got home. an indoor I, pool. Yeah. I got an outdoor pool. I come back home. And this little nigga got this little nigga's this little nigga's getting the love I'm supposed to be getting. The people that I thought was my people in the city, they rocking with him more than me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This nigga's getting the he's a top of the world nigga. Drake, the only time Drake ever came to Louisville was because of Jack. Mm-hmm. Never came to Louisville. Drake's never been to Louisville before, except for one time. And he came for Jack to shoot the Churchill Downs video. It's big. That's big. Bryson got a song with Drake. Shit was trash. To me, on the anniversary album, it wasn't a good song. To me, to me, other people might like it, but to me, I thought it was a wasted Drake verse. I thought like, yo, like th- this is this is a combination that should work and it didn't work. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, it's it's like chicken and, and fucking chicken and rice. Chicken and rice is supposed to be good, bro. It's hard to fuck up chicken and rice. You fuck up chicken and rice, you just don't know how to cook. A Drake and fucking Tiller song not being a major song, not taking off. Like, you would think a Drake and Tiller song would take off. It, it, the song didn't hit like that, bro. So you look around. At least I do. I'm looking around. I'm like, damn, bro, this doesn't make sense. Like, the only thing I can see that makes sense is this nigga has a problem. I don't want to say per se with Jack. But he has a problem with how he is perceived and how Jack is perceived. Because if you look around, bro, Jack is loved, bro. By the people in the city of Louisville and Louis- anything Louisville related, he is loved, bro. But the difference between Jack and Tiller is that Jack constantly always puts on for Louisville. Always. You can always see, bro. You can catch Jack at your local farmer's market. Uh, he got the festival. He got up. the he got the gazebo fest in May, and guess what? Jack has a couple of Louisville people on the on Saturday and Sunday. And scissors and, 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 and scissors headlining Saturday, and Jack is doing Sunday. But guess who's not on the flyer? He might be there, but guess who's not? Who's not there, bro? It's mm-hmm. Tiller. Now you could say, well, Tiller's doing his tour around that time too, and yeah, he is. But I can also say, I'm pretty sure. When things were getting set up and things were getting put in motion. Mm-hmm. If Tiller never had any intentions of performing in Louisville or performing in Kentucky, I'm pretty sure Jack reached out. If things are as good as pe- if things are cool, like people are alluding to saying, oh, there's no there's no animosity. Things are cool. If everything's OK, I'm pretty sure Jack reached out, saying, hey, bro, I would love for you to come to. I'm doing my very first festival in our city. It would be amazing for you to be on stage with me. Yeah. That's a monumental weekend, a monumental night. It would be amazing for Jack Harlow and Bryson Tiller to be on stage together for the first ever gazebo fest. 
Hell, nigga, you can headline Saturday. I don't the SZA doesn't make sense. Cause she's a much bigger star than Jack. So SZA headlining your fest, it, it, to me, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. It it would make sense with Bryson. Bryson Saturday night till a Sunday night. Mm -hmm. It would make sense. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm looking at it like, okay, it has to be something there. Cause this shit doesn't happen overnight. I know some people and they I know some people and they've known about the the goddamn gazebo fest since about the summer last year. Yeah. So this shit's been in motion. Things have been in play. What I'm saying is, bro, I'm not falling for the whole I'm not performing in the city until Static Major gets a banner. No, he's not. He's not performing. I don't think he'll ever come here and perform. Even if he does get it, even if even if Bryson was to get his own banner, I can't see him performing in the city until he feels like the city is loving and respecting him like or more than they love and respect Jack, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Jack's. Tiller has been on two of Jack's projects. The last two projects, you said the Tiller project he dropped yesterday and the, and the project he dropped in 2020, the anniversary joint, Jack wasn't on it. I'm not saying that he didn't have him on because he didn't want him to, but you have features. Why not? Why the only two songs that you and Jack got together are Jack's songs? You got the Through the Night. You feel me? And I can see Tiller doing the Through the Night because that's early Jack. That's Jack without a beard. That's still Jack with the glasses, the goofy looking Jack. You feel me? I can see him linking. Like, all right, bro. Like, I'm 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 gonna throw you a bone. I'm gonna look out for you. I fuck with you. We are gonna put on for the city. Boom. I'm I'm gonna help you out. You fast forward to the other joint that they got with the with the Static Major sample on uh I can't think of the name of the project. His official first album. Um, the shit where he's sitting in the car with with the with the chick in the leg or whatever the limo. Yeah. Um, they got the track on there, but. That could easily be nigga the label reach out. I mean, I don't think Tiller gonna turn down a check if the label's like, yo, we want you on a feature with 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 uh with Jack Harlow. He's like, Yeah, I do it. Even if he does feel some type of way about it, bro. Yeah. You feel me? Um But all in all though, bro, I I, I did the science and um and uh, I can I can safely say, bro, like I feel like I feel like there is some animosity, maybe not between the two, but maybe it's just all on Bryson's side. Um Bryson probably doesn't like this nigga, bro. Like he doesn't, bro. Like, I, I don't know. It's just something about it, bro. I'm not, like I said, I'm not saying I know anything. I'm not saying I've heard anything. I'm just saying looking from the outside, looking in, a lot of a lot of boxes are checked for a motherfucker that doesn't like somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, something, something's there. Somebody's not talking about it. And so we'll probably never know. We'll probably never hear of it. Um, at least not anytime soon. Um, but as far as I see it though, bro, that nigga Bryson got a problem with Jack, and I mean it is what it is. But he did drop a good album yesterday. Um, happy for him. He almost got my fandom back. And uh hopefully, you know, he doesn't disappear too long this time and uh he can keep it up.